are setting Frankfurt Airport. Over 100,000 passengers and many more items of luggage start their journey here every day. The airlines keep a close eye on their weight because only one kilo more on board increases annual kerosene costs by over 20,000 euros. That's why we have to dig deep into our pockets to pay for excess baggage. Depending on the route of the airline, up to 50 euros per kilo. But excess weight doesn't only come from passengers. The plane itself also conceals tons of unnecessary ballast. To find out where kilos can be cut, kerosene expert Peter Schöper and pilot Jens Ritter organize an aircraft inventory. In only six hours, they want to empty an Airbus. The challenge here on board is to find out what haven't we thought of. What do we carry on the plane day after day that we don't need or only rarely need? And this is our 190-ton guinea pig. When it took off from Rio de Janeiro, the Airbus weighed around 80 tons more. That's the weight of the kerosene alone. To give you some idea, the fuel costs of the Lufthansa fleet amount to more than 7 billion euros per year. While the aircraft is being handled, the hangar is bustling with activity. The inventory team is arriving. We've planned about six hours for the operation, and we've assigned teams to the different areas of the aircraft, cockpit, galley, first class, business class. Everything that's still on board after ground handling and is movable has to come out. The objects found then end up with the scales team. First, each item is catalogued, then it's off to the weighing station. Depending on how heavy the objects are, six different scales are ready and waiting. While the Airbus is taxiing towards the hangar, Peter is giving the final instructions, because today every gram counts. Now the time has come, the slimming candidate rolls in. The tension mounts. How many stowaways has the long-haul aircraft flown around the world in recent years? The airline hopes to save millions. Can they? We'll know more soon. The unique experiment can begin. The A340-300 has four engines. The cabin accommodates 241 passengers in eight first class, 36 business class and 197 economy class seats. There are also three galleys and nine toilets on board. For the crew, in addition to the cockpit, there's also the so-called crew rest, a kind of bedroom in the cargo hold. All areas the inventory team will search for superfluous kilos. So, good luck everyone, I'll give the starting signal now. The team boards the plane in search of hidden treasures. Around 40 people are involved in the operation. No one knows exactly what's in store for the teams. The three galleys alone contain 70 very heavy trolleys. But even the little things can add up to extra weight. The onboard entertainment provides the first casualties. Actually, these DVDs are just backups. They're all stored on the server, and then there are different selections depending on the class. The stock of cosmetic wipes is also amazing. That's just what's left now from what we've found stowed away. We usually need a certain amount to be able to restock on board when the articles in the toilet are used up. But there is certainly potential here to reduce some of that. The catering team has the most ambitious task. They're responsible for the 70 trolleys from the galleys, which in addition to crockery, cutlery and duty-free goods, mainly contain food and drink supplies. Of course, only the unused items are of interest for the inventory, i.e. whatever there's too much of on board. But it may take some time until team catering has an overview of all this. On the other side, the cleaning crew goes on the attack. The flight was fully booked, and in the cabin it really shows. Bags of unused blankets, pillows and magazines have to be removed. And the cleaning crew is meticulous, so meticulous that even the dust is included in the inventory. This is from the economy class, from a vacuum cleaner bag we used there. That's also weighed separately. Dust weight, 110 grams, but that includes the bag. 
Apart from the dust, there are dozens of items on board every passenger aircraft that cannot simply be dispensed with. Medical devices and emergency equipment, for example. But there are excessive amounts of many other things, and that definitely doesn't have to be the case. The growing mountain of clothes hangers is also puzzling. The Airbus flies a total of 5.7 kilos of them around the globe. The excess weight hunters take item after item off the plane and each one is individually weighed, photographed and catalogued. And indeed, the shelves fill up with duplicates. There seems to be a spare part for every spare part. Of course, the inventory team doesn't stop at the cockpit. And things come to light here that surprise even an experienced pilot. Oh my goodness, this is ancient history. This is the ACAS flight log. That's where you write down your times. We used to do that. Ten years ago. I've never had my hands on one, to be honest. No wonder. All the manuals from the cockpit have long been digitalized. Off to the weighing station with it. Just for comparison, for a simple piece of excess baggage, the passenger pays a flat rate of 150 euros on a transatlantic flight. And at the same time, superfluous documents have been flown around the world for years, totally uneconomical. And the kilo hunters have found even more. The result so far shows that at the moment we've already identified just under 70 kilos, which we probably no longer need on board. That's definitely potential we'll continue to look at. 70 kilos. Doesn't sound much, but when applied to the entire fleet, it's 1.6 million euros per year. There could be even more potential in the trolleys. They are now also being catalogued and weighed. An astonishing amount of goods were left over after the flight, even though it was fully booked. Even though there always has to be a certain selection on board. This weight adds up. In the meantime, we've reached the point where we can say 158 kilos are untouched. If we take a look, some items have just never been used. Slowly but surely, the Airbus is emptying. Next on the inventory list is the crew's sleeping quarters, which are accessed via a staircase in the cabin. Here too, it's mainly blankets and pillows that are the major factor, and so they also end up on the scales, together with the mountains of passengers' laundry. And here too, there is definitely savings potential. There are pillows from the economy class, for example, which are relatively heavy for such a small pillow. I think it's got a feather filling, and maybe we can make it lighter with a foam filling. We'll take up the suggestion internally and check it out. For such weight-saving ideas, there's a separate list, and by now, it's quite long. Six hours have passed. The first result projection should really be ready now. But if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. We'll do another check to see if that's everything and look again from all sides. The home stretch. While Peter checks the figures one last time, Jens promptly comes across a stowaway from a past age during his final check. A relic from the cockpit. To my great astonishment, there's still an ashtray here. Not only is it made of solid metal, but there are more ashtrays here in the backrests as well. And they're not only here in the cockpit. But why? This is an elementary part of the aircraft's emergency equipment, because no airline in the world can rely on its passengers keeping to the strict smoking ban. And in case they don't, there has to be a suitable receptacle on board to put out the cigarette. That's why the somewhat antiquated ashtray is still here. And that's why it's still on every flight. So, what is the result of the slimming down operation? After eight hours of searching, hauling and weighing, the teams have cleared half a ton of loose items from the aircraft. And 20 kilos from the cockpit and 80 kilos from the cabin are not needed. This means potential savings of 2.3 million euros per year. 
the untouched goods from the galleys weigh another 315 kilos, which in theory adds up to another 7 million euros, which is why the airline wants to look for lighter alternatives. You have to do these things for real and not just think them through with all the data at your desk. You have to go in there as well and leave no screw unturned. Today everything has to go back on board, but the airline wants to start implementing the findings immediately on every aircraft in its fleet.